tab sensor. To add your tabs or stamps, advance them till one tab is definitely peeling off like that. The sensor itself, the optics of the sensor, are right on the lead edge here and in line with this red mark. So you have to make sure the stamp is in there with the backing paper. You're going to have your knob turned all the way down to one and we're going to turn it until that light comes on. Now that it's on, I'm going to back this back out. So only the backing paper is in the sensor. The light should go out and now I'm going to count the number of clicks until it comes on again or until it maxes out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In this case, that case the number is eight. Normally I would take it if it was um, if it came on at 12 I would have that number and go back four. But since it didn't come back on, I'm going to assume it's like 13 or 14. And I'm only going to go back three. One, two, three. That should set the sensor. If for some reason when you test it, it comes and it puts a stamp on the leading edge and in here, or double stamps in any way, I would turn that knob up one more, run a bunch of them. If it still happens every so often, I would click it one more. That's setting your, your tavern stamp sensor. One more thing. Once it's... If you can't get this to set, say if it um, basically the light stays on all the time, maybe there's a tab or stamp inside here. One thing you can do, of course, unthread it. This sensor is clipped onto the bar here. So if you take um, a flathead screwdriver and kind of pry it in here, something I can get in there real quick. This might work. Like that. And the bottom is kind of a U shape. Then you can see in here, see if there's a tab or stamp stuck in there and try to get it out. Um, you can try to take a cloth and rub it in there to try to clean the sensor off. If it's really bad, I would take a, a little tiny, tiny bit of cleaner, nothing very harsh, maybe a little Windex and put it on the rag and then run it through there. And that should take care of it. If it doesn't, you're probably going to have to replace the sensor. When applying stamps, this is the guide you're going to use. Normally it has this um, wedge on there, but we're going to use, add, take the wedge off and use this and the magnets. Longer pieces like envelopes, I'm going to have it turned this way. Shorter pieces like postcards, I want to turn it this way. So let's start with postcards. To get it set up, after I set the separators, I'm going to set the position on this. I'm just going to get these out of the way so you can see. Let's review the positioning. If you're applying a stamp on something that's between 5 and 9.75 inches, we're going to use table one, which is this table. That means, basically it means we can apply the stamp anywhere from within five inches to 9.75 inches from the leading edge. To get there, I have to turn this knob to 15% and then hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. Now to lock the position in, I can turn this and I'm going to start down at the bottom. Press it once to lock it in. Now it should be locked at about 5 inches. So let's try one.
Nope, I don't think I turned the tabs down. I didn't. I should have turned the advanced the tabs back down on that first one. You can see it needs to go back a little bit more. So I need to turn it up a little bit. Lock it. Press it to lock it. That's pretty good there. I don't want to get too close to the edge. From there, I'd, I'd put one in and line up the guides and back them off a little bit so it's not just holding, you know, holding the other ones back. Take my stack, let it fan them back, like something like that. And then push your elevator down. So it's just left enough to pile a little bit. Like that. And now you're ready to run the stamps. To switch the envelopes. back out. Turn your knob. I'm only going to go about halfway for the first test. Click it once. Of course you're going to need to reset your separators. I'm not going to do it in right now. I'm just going to raise these up a little bit. See that's a way too close to the leading edge, so we're gonna turn it up, click it. And that happened to be right about where I want them. Don't get too close to the back edge where you're gonna have issues. Now when you put a you know once you set the separators up and put a stack on here, it might move a little bit more and you might have to and tweak it out a little bit more. That's basically it for just going from postcards and realigning the distance for stamps. Setting the feet up can be a little tricky because when you, yeah, let's do an example. I usually try to go like this. Now when I tighten these, see how it moves? And it changes my tension a little bit. So I want to feel it and make sure another one can't get through. But the first one should have a little bit of tension. It shouldn't be um, really tight, but it shouldn't also be super loose either. Something you got to get a feel for. Sometimes I'll just, you know, Redo it again. Sometimes I'll loosen it up and just kind of tap it a little bit until I get the, the right feel. Once you use, you know set it up enough times, you'll get a feel for how it should set. Again, push them back in. Not too tight. Pin it back. 